everyone. Um, happy National Lipstick Day. So I was super excited about this and I thought I would share with you guys um, my favorite lipstick formulas and my favorite lipstick colors and yeah, just kind of like my go-to. So let's start out with actually what's in my purse. So I have to actually find my purse for this, so I'll be right back. So I couldn't find the lipstick that I was looking for naturally. Oh, that was this it? No. Um, <laughs> But I did find other lipsticks that were in my purse. I had more than I thought I did. So I'm gonna share those with you right now. First off, what I wore yesterday that I really loved is this Velvet Teddy from MAC. And this is just like a nice, like pinky neutral. Um, I don't have a full size. I just have like a little mini size because they had this in the Ulta checkout line. And you know, those checkout lines just get you all the time. Um, and this was just there and I just, I wanted it and it looked, it looks great. I've heard people talking about this forever and it's for a good reason. It's the perfect color. It goes with any sort of look, but it's not like too neutral either. Um, but it just looks nice and like pinky on the lips. Another lipstick that I, this is the one that I was looking for that I can't find right now that I think is good for like, you know, an everyday sort of pinky lip color is... Urban Decay's Vice Lipstick in Back Talk. Now, they have like a whole Back Talk collection. I actually wore this in a video recently, I think. Um, but yeah, it's just like a nice, like it makes your lips look nice and pinky. And it's a super comfortable formula. I think it's in their Comfort Matte line. Um, and I just, I really like that. And I'm, I think I'm liking how that looks better than the liquid lipstick thing that I have on, going on right now. But yeah, that's... Um, those are good. Um, MAC lipsticks are great. Another one of my favorite MAC lipsticks. Let me find it. I only have like four MAC lipsticks, but I want to get like all of them. <laughs> um, it's this one. Whirl. This my friend got me for Christmas. This is like my absolute like favorite like color. It's just like a nice like grungy brownish neutral color. It's so pretty. It's definitely really cool. And I just, I love the formula of these MAC lipsticks, and I love how that looks on my lip. Some of my drugstore favorites are these Maybelline ones. This is actually like a rediscovered, need to keep it in my purse favorite. This is Touch of Spice, which maybe this is a dupe for Whirl. No, this is a little bit like pinkier than Whirl. <laughs> this is like a good combination of both of these colors though, isn't it? This kind of is another thing that goes with any sort of look. Um, I've heard people talk about it like, forever. I pretty much like all of Maybelline's lipsticks. So if you're at the drugstore, like Maybelline has some good like products like that. But uh, yeah, this, this color goes with any sort of look and it's really good and I like it a lot. And this is another goes with anything. This is why I'm keeping it in my purse type of uh, product. This is Blushing Mauve from Revlon. It's pink. It's cute. It looks, oh, this might be a dupe for Velvet Teddy. Those look pretty similar to me. Um, that's pretty good. These go on sale like all the time for like $2.99. Um, but they're pretty inexpensive otherwise. And I feel like these are so overlooked because they're classics. Like they've been there forever. They're going to be there for forever. And um, it's just, it's good. It's been there forever for a reason. And yeah, these are good products. I like this one um, and I wear it often. Doing little touch-ups to it my upper lip because I feel like I got lipstick on over there <laughs> but next up we're on to ColourPop their ultra satin lipsticks are my favorite of the liquid lipstick formulas that they have um this is the one in Echo Park this is actually like one of the first satin lipsticks that I got from them and it's just like a really nice like neutral color this is like maybe my perfect nude shade I've got to swatch it for you guys huh <laughs> I remember I wore this in like a picture one time and everybody was asking me what I was wearing on my lips. And yeah, it's kind of kind of the same color. You kind of got a theme going on here of what I like to keep in my purse. Um, Whirl was not in my purse at the time, but that's okay. That's still my favorite. Um, but yeah, this is just like, this is just like a nice neutral color. I like it. What I have on my lips right now is this, whoop, just throwing everything around in this video. This is a Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink lipstick, and this is in the color Pioneer. So these are a little bit messy, I feel like, when you get a darker color. Um, this isn't something that, like, I would reapply, like, at all throughout the day. I would probably 
there are this is probably what I would use to kind of reapply it. This is a L'Oreal um, lipstick. This is in Shanghai Scarlet. And this is more like, um, because I got these colors around the same time. And like, I use one and then I keep one. I, I'll like use this and I'll keep this in my purse in case I need to touch up or something. But this, it's a very similar color. And this is a different sort of formula where it's not like, a completely matte formula it's a little bit like more like a lip lacquer I guess I don't know how I would describe this <laughs> but I it's called a matte gloss that's that's a good way of describing it it's like a matte gloss so yeah um, this this is good to like stay on and it probably won't move much throughout the day but if I did need to reapply it I would use something like this just like in the places that I need to reapply because it's a good enough match and I don't think that those would like interfere or like make it messier than it is. So yeah, that's, that's that. Um, and those are both great formulas. I like them both. They're like on my favorite lipstick list for a reason. I feel like this was like a bad day to wear a white t-shirt because I feel like I'm gonna get lipstick on it. Dose of colors. Um, what's this one? This one's in warm and fuzzy. I got a bunch, I got two sets for Christmas. Um, that I bought for myself for Christmas, but well, I mean, yeah, I used Christmas money to buy them. So, um, it's, this one's just like a nice nude color again, kind of similar theme to the rest of them. Um, yeah, that's the white down test after everything. These I think transfer a little bit more than the Maybelline matte ink. I actually did a whole video kind of comparing these two, not because I think that they're dupes for each other, but because like I think this is my favorite high-end liquid lipstick formula and this is my favorite drugstore liquid lipstick formula. So I wanted to kind of, you know, like battle these two together and see which one kind of lasted. I wonder if Maybelline kind of like took inspiration from the packaging of this to like do their packaging um that makes me wonder because they are similar and yeah I mean I guess it's not the same because but they're like white lids I don't know I I just wonder about things like that because like Dose of Colors is like a popular indie brand and that's kind of I'm not trying to spill tea or anything here but that was good um I mean that's not good if they copy well I don't think they copy I think they just drew inspiration from them. That's that's what I'm gonna say. I'm trying to find other favorites. Ah, here. Jouer has really good liquid lipsticks too. These are available at Sephora now. Um, right now they actually have a special where you can do buy one get one free on any of their liquid lipsticks. Um, this one's in tawny rose. I have a few other colors, but see that's a nice neutral brownie color similar to the other colors. Um, I feel like I'm just like a broken record in this video, but this is good. This doesn't last like a super long time, but it's nice and comfortable on the lips. It, and it won't like dry down. It won't like make your lips look cracked or anything. I don't think, um, I just, I think this is a good one just for everyone. I feel like any, but if you don't like liquid lipsticks, maybe try one of these because these are pretty good. Um, like, I mean, I think they're very good. They're one of my favorites, but I mean, I think these would be pretty good for people that don't like liquid lipsticks because they don't really feel like a liquid lipstick. They feel more like a regular lipstick. It wears kind of like regular lipstick, but it's still good. This. Milani. Sorry, I just kind of knocked one down. Milani Matte Metallic Lip Cream in Chromatic Addict. This is best lipstick. I feel like sometimes I feel a little bit crazy wearing this because it is so metallic, but it's really good. I love it. I would highly recommend this. Um, yeah, this is like total hidden gem of the drugstore. I'm like holding it. This is my second tube of this, actually. My first tube kind of got a little bit separated, but I was like halfway done with it. So yeah, this, this is a good one. Um, I've never bought like the same tube of like one lipstick. So that's something special. I haven't worn it a ton since I've had that tube, but still it's, it's good. It's special <laughs> and I love it. Bite Beauty Multi Sticks. This one is not my favorite color. I only have two of them. Um, my favorite color is Cashew. I'm not sure where that is, but this is gelato. And this is 
that looks exactly like that tawny rose color. That's crazy. Um, these are good because you could use them on your eyes, on your cheeks, on your lips. Um, I know Bunny from Graveyard Girl, she wears them as a primer for her eyes all the time. I think that they're pretty good as that. I don't technically, I use them mostly as a lipstick. Um, I don't know how much I believe and like you know this is a multi-purpose stick thing at first I was like yeah this says it's a multi-stick but really it's a lipstick but the more I used it as a primer the more I kind of liked it as an eye primer um and like if you're in a pinch and you can only carry like a lipstick and and I then you can't carry an eye primer this this will work for you um <laughs> so yeah that's that's a great formula um I love it Cashew is my favorite color. Um, I'll try to like insert a picture where I'm wearing cashew just to see like, right here. See, I love that color. Um, I do wear it quite a lot and I just, I think it looks cool. It reminds me of Whirl and it's kind of like that sort of like neutral but also kind of grungy color and I like it a lot. And I think that's all that I have to say. Um, other than I don't think you can go wrong with like Maybelline or the Revlon Super Lustrous lipsticks. Like, I just want to point that out. Like, pretty, pretty much, I'm a little bit, my head got a little bit cut off in the video there at some point because I'm, like, trying to look all around. But those are my favorites, drugstore and high-end. Um, I think there's, you know, the Urban Decay Vice lipsticks. Those are great, too. Um, even though I don't have, I don't have it on me because I don't know where it is. But, yeah, those are all really good lipsticks. So I hope you guys liked this video, found it informative. And I hope you guys are having a nice National Lipstick Day. Bye.